so keep going in the cloud, right? What are we doing now? So we have the cloud. I keep drawing here, just hanging out by the whiteboard. Why not? It seems to work. It also saves us the time of having to do a PowerPoint and actually a lot more flexibility. So I'm keeping up with this. Uh, <coughs> we have the cloud. We got Business Central. And I'm going to put in Excel here. Excel is in the cloud as well as outside the cloud. But what we're going to do is work with Excel inside the cloud. All right, so the case is this. Uh, we have inventory list inside Business Central with quantities. There are our on-hand quantities, right? But I would like to know about the quantities that my vendor has. Like, so I can source quantities from them. And let's say if I get a really big order and it's more than I have on stock, I'd like to know if I can fulfill that order with something from uh, my vendor uh, and if he has enough or they. Um, so I could add a field in Business Central with modification. Uh, I'll just fix this here for quantity, like vendor quantity. You know, that's a modification and I'd have to change Business Central. I have to call up a developer and a lot of mess. Or what I could do is um, actually extend or create a work, uh, worksheet in Excel. I'm just going to draw it like this with my vendor, I mean uh, my, uh, my items and quantity. And this is the vendor quantity. And so here I have entries for the number, and here I have the entries for the quantity. And I can connect this to Power BI. Now I have to extend it, extend the cloud. Let me just do it like this. Power BI. I can connect this to that. Don't do this, take that away connect Business Central to Power BI, and then report how much I have in Business Central, which is my quantities, and how much I have in the vendor quantity in Excel. So Excel becomes a data source, as well as, Power, uh, as, well as Business Central. And both are being visualized in Power BI. So if I wanna know how much I have on hand, plus what I have at a vendor, combined quantities, I can view that inside Power BI with a visualization. And all of this I can do with zero code. So let's see how that's done. All right, so the issue that we have to solve is that we have um, the item category code here in inventory by item category. And, but we want to see the inventory by item and the inventory at a vendor by item. So I'm gonna go ahead and change this one here to not look at the item category. So just go ahead and change it to include the number and take the item category out. So now we're looking at by number. So this is the inventory that we have in, um, in Business Central of each one of these. So let me just go ahead and do it like this. I like that. Uh, we switch them around. Now I'd li like to see the inventory at vendor that we have. So this is what we have in-house and I'd like to see inventory at vendor. So that is not in Business Central, it's actually in Excel. And I have an Excel sheet here that the vendor sent to me uh, that shows the inventory that they have. So I'm gonna go ahead and add the Excel sheet to Business Central. So all I have to do is just go ahead and hit uh, Get Data, Excel, pick the Excel sheet, and it will read it and come up with uh, the table. I'll pick the table right here, load the table, and now it adds it as an option um, to include in my data sheet. And it, what it also did, if I go in here, it picks up a relationship so that the number is connected to the number in items. It automatically did that. So you can see here, if I manage relationships, I can see the table two here is connected to items. All right. So now what I'm gonna do is add the inventory from 
the Excel sheet into this list. So all I have to do is just go in here and click on quantity. And there it is. I have the inventory uh, uploaded. So let's say, for example, they, uh, they change the inventory. So this sheet is updated and now I want to update it in here. Uh, let's say that they got some more 1004s. So they're up to 500 of those. I just hit enter here and save it. And then go in and hit refresh. And uh, let's see if it actually picks it up. Yes, it does. And now it's updated. So this is how easy it is to actually include Excel data into BC data that you visualize in Power BI.